built from a young imagination. This robotic spider with a shooter tail is the brainchild of 11-year-old Dunedin pupil Tobias Devereaux. It's one of three robots he's created for this year's Otago RoboCup. And he says it's not easy getting a robot to the competition stage. I think sometimes getting the right pieces in the right place, sometimes finding the right pieces. So I had to rebuild one part of my robot because it wasn't working. And it's really annoying if it's not quite right. The annual event celebrates children's use of science, mathematics and technology in a fun way. Organiser Bill Boys says it's also an educational opportunity for entrants to learn from leaders in the field. The students are programming robots, usually in schools, sometimes in clubs, sometimes associated with uh, university, um, after school clubs. And so RoboCup is all about students having an opportunity to learn about robotics, to learn programming. He says the competition serves as a test for pupils to see if everything they've worked on can come together successfully. And Boyce says the young participants put plenty of time and commitment into it. Some of these students have of course been working on these on, on robots like these ones, so this is their, their third, fourth, fifth competition. And so they're really, they've put a lot and lot of time into this. And so they're really getting quite good at it, and it's just their passion. As a category winner, Tobias says his passion for robotics will continue to grow. And although winning's great, what makes the competition fun is seeing everyone else's ideas. I can show what I've been doing for like a long time to other people so I can perform it and so I can see other people's performances and what they've done, their robots. Tobias and several other local winners are now thinking ahead to the national competition in September with a few months up their sleeves to further fine-tune their robotic creepy-crawlies. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.